Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, I'm playing against Coco. Um, I'm on the play, and this hand is fucking atrocious. Excuse my language. This hand's a little bit better, but it needs a lot of help. I mean, I could kill his guys. I could kill a turn one Delver, but that's about it. We're gonna leave this alone and see what happens. If he's got a Delver, he's got a Delver. I'm not too happy with this hand. I think it's kind of poopy, but we'll see what happens. Okay, he's got a Delver. That's fine. We're going to see if we rip a land. Oh, look at us being good at magic, kind of, sort of. Okay, we're not even going to give him the option to flip it. I know it might be wrong, but if he has a vapor snag, at least he's tapped out now. Plus, taking the two damage is good for us because it keeps us at a timely range, which is really annoying in this matchup. Land? Land one time, be good? No, let's rip a hero. I maybe I should have cut the heroes, I don't know. They're good, but they're not fantastic. Okay. He's got a Midnight Haunting. Essentially, he's got a token. We're going to leave him at that. I don't want to incinerate it in a turn for the simple fact that, like I said, he can timely and just kind of go nuts. All right, let's see if he's got a leak. No leak. They usually take the leak out, I would think. All right, we will get in there. Raw, raw, raw. He's going to make a guy in a turn or a midnight haunting, but I would think a guy. No? Okay, that means he's clearly... Okay. Yeah, he made a guy. That's fine by me. You make your guy. Alright, let's see what he's got here. I think he kept a suboptimal hand. I could be completely wrong. Hoping next turn we rip a land and slam a hero. I believe he's got a Midnight Haunting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Already up to five counters, which is good. Okay, once again, he jumps with his Midnight Haunting. Oh, Feeling of Dread, that's interesting. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can... I think I gotta respect an O-Ring. Otherwise, I would play Hero out. But right now, I really... Tangible Virtue, what the crap is he doing? <laughs> Alright, you do, you do you, man. You go crazy. Maybe he's got a vapor snag. I don't know. I'm just gonna burn him out. Okay, we're both at 15. Land no. Okay, he's got a 2 2 vigilance guy. The only thing is, I really don't want to fall for his uh, crappy card. So I'm going to let this go. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm not going to attack because I don't want to lose to a dumb, you know, token... What is he do? What is he doing? That's that's so fine. I don't. I don't. What deck did you sideboard into? What plan is this? Your plan is terrible. All right, we're gonna try to just burn him out here. I'm at twelve. He's got a feeling of dread in the yard, but one token is not gonna get there. Okay, we're at nine. Lava Mancer. Just hope he doesn't have Timely. If he has Timely, it's going to be kind of annoying. I think by him attacking, he clearly does not have Timely. Okay, Silent Departure. 
I'm gonna sh we're gonna shoot him and win. Put him to two, and then we'll slag storm game. I do not know what that sideboard plan was. Okay. We just uh, won that one on some weird at weird sideboard plan. Alright, let's see what else we got for game three. Uh, he brought an intang intangible virtue, which tells me weird things about a sideboarding plan. So that kind of means we got to side differently, because we can't have all these art trails doing nothing. If he has an intangible virtue out. So we're going to ditch the arc trails for now. Put in these fire slingers. The gut shots are pretty bad too. We're going to bring in two dismembers and see where we're at with that. And we will be going directly into game three. This is a mulligan. This is a mulligan. This is less of a mulligan, but this hand sucks. Okay, so we're down to five cards. He plays a Doom Traveler, which is okay because it can't block our guy at the moment. So, I'll play out a Noble and pass the turn. We will not be blocking. So, you go to town with your tokens. Okay, we play a Lava Man, so let's see if we can... Okay, Feeling of Dread. So weird. I don't know if I like that card, to be honest. I mean, it's okay, don't get me wrong, but... He's not in a position to really get beating yet. So... We'll be taking that. Wonder if he has dissipate here. If he has dissipate. That's really annoying. We're gonna try our phoenix. Okay, we'll go to attackers. He's letting us get in, which means that he has a midnight awning. If he doesn't, we gotta respect that anyway. Okay, we're not gonna get blown out by it. A dumb midnight haunting, especially when next turn if we rip a land, we could just go all in on our hero. And there's his midnight haunting. Yay, look at us knowing what to do. Okay, he's got a bunch of land. Okay, he's getting aggro. We're taking it. Does he have another midnight haunting? At the moment... He's got Delver, and we have another Phoenix. Okay, the odds of him having another Midnight Haunting, I believe, are worth smashing in with our Noble. Okay, so he's going to tap down our Phoenixes. He's actually getting pretty aggressive here. Okay, if he flips his Delver, that's fine. Feeling of Dread, okay, that's fine. I gotta think, do I want to hold back here in case he flips the Delver? Am I still on the aggro plan? Because I don't want to be blocking with this Lava Mancer. If I get him down to 16, he swings in for 6, puts me at 9. Then if I rip and play this... I think I gotta hold back this turn. If anything, I just eat a token. I mean, you can always silent departure or feeling of dread, my guys. But he's on the super aggro plan. Let's hope he doesn't drop like an intangible virtue here. It's probably silent departure, my guy. We got to see where we're at because, okay, he's got another Delver. 
Alright, I guess he's not going to be crashing in. Alright. Oh, how... What a mockery you are. Alright, um... We're going to go sideways with our guys here. No, I guess we shouldn't let him. I mean, he's just going to chump there. Only problem with this is if he flips his delvers, I think we got to hold back from attacking. We're just going to stay back. See where he's at. If he flips his guys, he flips his guys. Nope. So he doesn't flip. So we're just hoping to hit a land and just go all in and smash face. This can't be good. Is that an Elspeth? That's gross and annoying. <laughs> okay, I, I, I got nothing to say about that. We got an 8 8 monk. So, how do I win now? I'll be at 15. Alright, we gotta shoot him here. Rip land? No, of course. Why would we rip land ever? This is non sexy lands that we're in. Alright, we're going to just play this guy out, and we are going to try to get there next turn. He's at 15, and he's got a Vigilance Monk, which kind of really is going to kill us eventually. We're getting lucky that he's not flipping his Delvers. If he was flipping his Delvers, that would be bad news. Alright, let's see where he's at. Yeah, I think that's the right spot to be. Definitely going to be block. Blocking and shooting his face. Okay, get rid of those guys. Okay, so we have our land... We'll see. Alright. Now, we basically can make his whole team not be blocked. And we'll get in for 6, 8, 10. But the problem with that is... We're just dead on the swing back if he flips his up. So he's got 5, 8... Um, okay. So he can't flip a, a Delver. And he can't have, he basically can't have anything. So we're going to send this guy in. And, let's see. Yeah, we're good if he doesn't flip anything. Alright, so our hero's going to get blocked. Do we serve? I think we serve. Alright. Just got anything? No, we got to leave a guy back. Alright, we'll serve with this. Okay, we'll eat our hero. And he'll take six. Okay. He's at seven. Don't flip your Delvers. And basically, man, he's been having terrible luck flipping in his Delvers. We hit with our ne our hero, and we might just take eight here. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how he wants to play this. One, two, three, four, five, six. He hits us exactly for 15 if we choose not to block. All right, I'm going to stop the video here and bring you.